Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to be filtering the spirit we made in the last video using the filter from your distillery kit. These filters are also available separately as purchased from your home brew store. Our first step is to soak the carbon cartridge to remove all the air that might be trapped in there to pre uh, prevent any air locks when you're actually filtering. We do that by just soaking it in a jug of water until it sinks. Leave that aside for now while we start assembling the filter. Our first step is to put the tap on the bottom bucket of our filter. The bottom bucket is the one with the hole in the side. It's easy to do. Get your tap, you'll notice that there are two washers. One has to go on the outside, one has to go on the inside. Put the backing nut on firmly, needs to be good finger tight, and check that for no leaks. Once we've checked that it's watertight, we can put on the lid with the big hole. It just needs to be placed on top, we don't need to actually put it down firmly. Okay, now we've got the bottom bucket sorted out. Let's fit the filter spindle onto the top bucket. This is what's going to hold our filter cartridge that we've got so soaking at the moment. Remove the nut and thumb screw from the top. And that's going to go into the hole at the base of the top bucket. We need to take the thumb, thumb screw out, remove the silicon o-ring and just place it through the hole. Next fit the o-ring over the thread and you'll notice on your uh, nut that we have securing the whole assembly there's a little recess for that seal that goes facing upwards. Do it tightly. Uh, just needs to be finger tight. Um, you'll never need to really remove this. Once that's done up tight, we can fit the silicon o-ring from the assembly with a large hole over the nut. We're now ready to fit the spindle on. Next, we can see that our filter cartridge has sunk to the bottom and all the air bubbles have stopped coming out. We can now fit it into our spindle. And then all we have to do is screw it on. When you're replacing these in future, it's a simple matter of unscrewing, replacing with a fresh cartridge and doing it up tight again. Easy. Once it's assembled, it only needs to be finger tight, slide it through the big hole in the bottom lid and we're ready to move on the next stage. Okay we're now ready to start filtering our product that we collected during our last distillation run. If you remember we collected 4.6 litres of 95% alcohol. What we need to do for the carbon to work properly is to water that volume down to below 55% ABV or alcohol by volume for the carbon to work correctly. The easiest way that I've found to do this is to add the equal amount of water into your filter first. Before we do that, you've been wondering what this stick is. It's actually a plug. It does have a thread on the end of it, but do not use the thread. It should just work by pushing it straight in to the hole of your filter spindle. It'll stand there by itself quite easily. We can now add our 4.6 litres of water. Okay, we can now add our 4.6 litres at 95% alcohol, which when all mixed up, will give us 9.2 litres at 47.5% alcohol. We'll then adjust with a little bit more water when we're using our alcometer. We can now add more water to bring it down to our drinking strength. 
We prefer around 38%. Do this in stages to get close to where you want to be. Once we've reached our target alcohol strength, we can remove the alcometer and then lift the filter plug straight out. And the filter process will start. We'll just place the top lid on, on top of the top bucket and we can leave it be. Should take somewhere between six and eight hours. Thanks for watching and hope you have fun.